Hello guys, it's Rebel here and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the craziest things I've ever seen when it comes to just options gambling overall. And uh, before I actually get into this video, I don't really talk about options much on this channel. But I do want to say though, when it comes to covered calls and cash secured puts and just premium farming overall, it's probably one of the dumbest things that you can do as like a long-term investor. Like I don't really get why you're gambling on short-term price fluctuations in exchange for like a small premium, especially as a retail investor. What like upside do you have when it comes to like competing against the entire market and thinking that you're going to premium farm on like a lot of these options and not get exercised when it comes to these options that you're writing like it's just absolutely crazy so i'm briefly going to talk about covered calls first and then cash secured puts and then we're going to talk about the absolute degeneracy that i just saw like a couple days ago so basically when it comes to covered calls you obviously own the underlying security and then you write these options so when it comes to the covered calls you do collect the premium but then you do miss up on all the upside potential of the stock if you do get exercised and a lot of people are going to start commenting right now like yeah i do know that but i'm selling short-term options and all that stuff but two things to that one why are you freaking gambling and two if you do get exercised why the hell are you risking your uh, underlying shares to pretty much get this small premium because if you think in the long run that the underlying security that you're going to own is going to go up so why are you gambling to lose your underlying shares just to uh, collect a small premium like that actually is just so irresponsible and so stupid i mean if you want to do it like more power to you but i just think over the long run you're going to underperform and lose your underlying securities especially when it comes to apple just as an example i was going to make this video separately but i might as well just make the point right now apple has been on an absolute tear recently i'm not 100 sure so i will put it up on the screen but i don't think until this recent run up apple has traded above 200 per share briefly maybe above like 201 202 or something like that but let's say for example you're selling these covered calls 30 days out with a strike price of maybe 210 215 220 and because apple has had a massive run up recently you lost your shares at a strike price that literally has not ever you know been traded at before and then you thought you're going to be safe by going out to 210 215 220 as your strike price and then you got exercised so now you are missing out on all that upside potential depending on your strike price whether it's 210 215 220 like right now i'm pretty sure it's trading at 230 dollars per share basically you're gambling on the short-term options when it comes to covered calls and then you got exercised and now you're missing out on all this uh, massive upside potential when it comes to apple could it go higher i don't know could it crash back down? I have absolutely no idea. But when it comes to cover calls, if you believe in the underlying security in the long run, why are you gambling on these short-term options to just get a small premium? And one more point to mention as well when it comes to cover calls is that there is unlimited downside potential because of the fact that you still own the underlying security. And now when it comes to cash secured puts, you're gonna think to yourself, oh, I'm so much smarter than the market. I'm gonna get paid to wait to uh, buy security that I like at a specific price. But when it comes to the underlying security though, let's say for example that your strike price is uh, $10 below the market price, and you're gonna think that, oh, I'm so smart, I'm gonna premium farm, and then I can buy the stock at a much lower price because I'm so much smarter than the market but because stocks are so freaking volatile especially when it comes to earnings season so the stock for example could just absolutely rip down during earnings let's say nike for example which just got absolutely obliterated after their uh, most recent earnings depending on the strike price that you did have you took on that massive risk to uh, buy nike and pretty much the stock just absolutely plummeted and then now especially when it comes to their overall uh, future earnings their guidance i'm pretty sure was like no revenue growth for uh, 2025 so not only did the stock absolutely drop but now your investment thesis did also drop as well because of the fact that nike said that they're going to have smaller growth so when it comes to these puts you were premium farming but now you're forced to buy the underlying stock as it absolutely just ripped down and then your investment thesis has now most likely changed now on the other hand when it comes to cash secured puts depending on the strike price that you did have the stock could just absolutely rip and just never see that price again so let's say for example you like the stock and then it just absolutely ripped up and it never sees for example hundred dollars per share let's say that was your strike price so you were collecting this premium but now the stock that you did actually like just absolutely ripped up and you missed out on all that massive potential gains because you're premium farming like an absolute clown so now going into the underlying point of this video we're going to go on to the blossom app so i do want to say though while this app is actually really good and credit to the founder for like developing this and all that stuff the people on this freaking app are absolute degenerates and just straight clowns like oh my god this is just an average look at your uh, retail investor and just how crazy their portfolio is I mean, i'm not even joking if you want to see some absolutely wild stuff go on this freaking app you're just going to be smashing your head on the table like oh my god what is happening pretty much we got financial nirvana mama so she's pretty much a mother of two and she was talking about buying nvidia stock at 83 dollars per share she pretty much made a post a few months ago talking about hey should i buy the stock because it went up a lot pretty much just looking at past performance and should i pretty much you know ride the gain but anyway talking about ai my hot guy all this stuff oh the uh, massive revenue growth that's gonna happen blah 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 should i buy nvidia so she basically did not buy nvidia because she was contemplating between that and microsoft i don't know what the fudge but now she has sold cash secured puts for june 2025 at a strike price of 83 dollars per share and the premium is five dollars and nine cents oh my freaking god so based off my entire explanation when i was talking about covered calls and uh, cash secured puts so if you're doing something that's like 29 days out like yes it is freaking gambling and all that stuff like it is short-term gambling but at the same time though it's way less risky than going a freaking year out on nvidia at freaking 83 dollars per share and a premium of five dollars and nine cents what the fuck is going on and based off the math that i did she's pretty much getting a uh, six point i think three one percent rate of return or something like that for the absolute massive risk of going year out on absolutely massively volatile stock like nvidia and pretty much possibly uh, getting exercise at $83 per share it could possibly like just drop down to 60 who really knows what's gonna happen it could possibly rip up because she is talking about how she likes the stock so if you like the stock just freaking buy enough financial advice but she's literally just premium farming on nvidia 
freaking one year out like especially when it comes to like long-term options that is just worse than short-term gambling like i'm not even joking like what the hell is going to happen in june 2025 when it comes to nvidia let alone the entire stock market the entire economy and all that stuff what am i seeing here like this is absolutely freaking wild she's locking up like i think sixteen thousand six hundred dollars something like that she's locking up like a lot of money to get like a six point like i said 6.31 percent rate of return something like that one thing i wanted to point out as well is that she's getting a 6.1 percent rate of return but the market rate is literally five percent so she could put the money in a savings account probably get five percent give her take yes there might be rate cuts in the future but based off what she's getting for that return and what savings accounts are at currently like this is just absolutely crazy i'm not joking this is ridiculous and she's freaking premium farming on this absolutely massively volatile stock like what the hell am i looking at like i saw this here i was like oh my god <laughs> she's not doing that like, there's no way this is real so she's basically putting up sixteen thousand six hundred dollars in capital to gamble on long-term options when it comes to nvidia rather than putting that money in a total market index yes the index could possibly drop by 20 percent right now who like really knows but this is absolutely crazy degenerate gambling the fact that i'm like ugh, the fact that i saw this is absolutely wild and the fact that she has kids as well and she's freaking gambling on options especially when it comes to nvidia like i said this thing has been on an absolute massive tear the volatility on the stock is absolutely wild i don't know what the beta is i will put it up on the screen but holy freaking crap what am i looking at here and also when it comes to the strike price of 83 dollars per share like where did she get that number from is that based off the post that she made three months ago making the poll like should i buy nvidia or not like what kind of discounted cash flow or valuation model did you have to come up with 83 dollars per share you're pulling a number just out of your freaking arse and then you're gambling on options when it comes to it and the fact that you're going to get like a 6.1 percent rate of return based off the fact that the uh, option does not get exercised rather than putting that money in a total market index or even the s p 500 like i don't freaking care man and also when it comes to this lady as well she does have a youtube channel and all that stuff she talks about stocks whatever but people are going to look at this stuff and unfortunately copy what she does like yes it is not financial advice i would not hold her legally liable if people do copy her because if you do copy her you're just an absolute idiot like i don't know why you're freaking doing that but unfortunately all these retail investors just get sucked into options and just start gambling not financial advice obviously but it's not really rocket science to say don't do this this is absolute degenerate gambling and if you keep doing this over and over your cheeks are going to get clapped like there's absolutely no tomorrow Alrighty, guys that's basically going to be the end of today's video hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like down below subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys in the next video